Hello lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing a very glamorous party makeup tutorial for you all. But before we begin, please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or video requests. So if you want to achieve this makeup look and want to look fabulous, please keep watching this video. If you have dry skin, I would suggest that you moisturize it before starting this makeup. So first off, I'm using the Amazing Cosmetics Anti-Aging Face Primer. This one is my absolute favorite and I've been using it for quite some time now. It just helps to achieve a very smooth, flawless finish with any products that you use after this. It just helps the foundation glide on your face. Here I have the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Light Honey. Um, you just need two or three drops, drops at the max and you just pat them on your under eye circles or any other spots that you want to cover. It's very full coverage and you just need a very tiny amount. I'm using the mini beauty blender to just smoothen it out and just blend it in to my skin. Um, it's a very useful tool to achieve a very flawless finish. I'm just blending it out towards the upper cheek. I don't usually use the beauty blenders when I'm in a rush because I believe that if you're using brushes and blenders um, on a daily routine, uh, makeup, it just takes so much longer and they do use more product than usual so I just do it with my fingers but for, for a party makeup I definitely use the blender. I'm just covering any spots that I see with the same concealer. I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This is a full coverage foundation and I'll be applying this with the help of the Beauty Blender. dabbing some on my under eye circles so that that area blends in with the rest of the face and not to ignore the neck area. Now I'm using the Clinique Translucent Powder. It's a face powder in the shade 08. It's actually the transparency neutral powder. So I'm just dabbing it under my eyes so it can collect any eyeshadow fall off and I can just dust it off later after it's applied. This is a MAC Painterly Pot. You must have seen this in my other video as well. I use this for my eyeshadows and yeah, that's the MAC eyeshadow in black color. It's actually charcoal black. I don't know the exact shade number, but if I can find it, I'll just uh, link it down below. So using a MAC brush, I'm just building it up on my eyelids towards the crease. I use this eyeshadow for a lot of makeup looks and the reason is that it helps give a depth to my eyes. It really goes well with a lot of makeup looks. So mainly focusing on the crease of the eye and leaving some part in the middle. From the Naked 3 eyeshadow palette, I'm using the shade Blackheart. It's a very deep bronzy color and it's just going to give another dimension to the um, black smoky look of the eye. So I'm just applying this in the middle part mainly, the mid part of the eyelid. Now I'm using the shade Mugshot from the same palette with the help of the MAC eyeshadow brush number 217. I'm using this as a transition shade. And this is just going to be blended outwards towards the brow bone. This is a very nice um, bronzy but towards the lighter shade of bronze uh, eyeshadow. 
Now I am going to be applying the shade Strange just under my eyebrows. Now this is my favorite part. I'm using the Glitter Glue by Too Faced and this is what glitter dreams are made of. Whenever I need to use glitter or some high pigment on my eyes, I use this glue and this works wonders. There's no fall off and the pigment sticks to my eyelid so well. This is the Max Glitter Pigment in the shade Black and Red. The key is to apply it as soon as you apply the glue so that the glue doesn't dry off. Um, you need to apply this when the glue is wet and just dab on as much as you want or your eyelids or the parts where the glue is. I really can't get enough of this glitter. It's very subtle, it's not very sparkly and very pretty for a dramatic look. Using the MAC eyeshadow brush number 263, I'll be applying some of the black eyeshadow under my lower lash line. Just sort of lining my eyes all around with that. Now I'll be using the Makeup Forever Liquid Eyeliner, it's the ink liner for my upper lash line. Also applying the same under my lower lash line. Now repeating the same steps for my other eye. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Defining Pencil to fill up my eyebrows. It has a brush at the other end to make the, the lines more subtle. So once I've filled up my eyes, eyebrows, I'm just going to use the brush to brush the lines out. Just sort of give it a neat look. Now I'm gluing on the Ardell lashes in triple one with the help of the Ardell lash glue. I'm using the Daryl Mascara by Benefit to just sort of blend in the lashes with my original lashes. With my own lashes, I meant. <laughs> I'm gonna use the same on the lower lashes as well. Now with a clean brush, I'll just brush off that powder that's been sitting on my face annoyingly. I know it's annoying. I can, uh, I mean, I'm annoyed by it. But yeah, so I'm just going to brush it off so that now you can see my clean face. Yes, the Sephora 101 Contour Palette, my absolute favorite. And I think it's a great contouring palette for beginners. So using the Sephora Contour Brush to uh, contour my cheeks. I'm um, using the darker shade of the palette just under my cheekbones. You see I'm just blending it in the hollows of my cheek. That looks scary at this point I know. It doesn't look pretty at all but then we're not really too close to finishing off the look we still have a few very important steps to do so I'm just contouring my jawline and now the sides of my forehead
using a small brush I'm contouring my nose which is the most important part of contouring for me so just putting that on the sides of the bridge below the tip of the nose towards the sides Now using the brush number 73, I'm using the lighter shade for the highlighting. Just under my eyes and or my cheeks, forehead, bridge of the nose. The Chanel compressed powder, I've been using this for blending and also just touching up my nose and makeup I keep it with me all the time and yes here you see the difference it makes it just is such a good blender I use it after putting the contour powder and it sort of sets off everything it's very translucent as well so it doesn't make you look very uh, your makeup look very cakey so you can use as much as you want without worrying about it looking too fake. Using the Makeup Forever lip liner in the shade number 11, I'm gonna line my lips so that I can fill up between the lines uh, using a liquid lipstick. This is the Too Faced Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Sellout. I absolutely love this and I'm just going to fill up between the lines uh, with this uh, lipstick. I'm using the Too Faced Blush on in the shade Love Hangover and just a really big fluffy brush to put that on my cheeks. The Laura Mercier um, Illuminator in the shade indiscretion my favorite these days just putting it on the top of my cheeks on the bridge of my nose forehead and the chin putting some under my eyebrows to brighten up my eyes, I'm using the Annabelle White Eyeliner on my lower tear line. And here they're looking bigger. I hope you like this makeup look. It surely is glamorous and bold, so it might not be for everyone. But if you like to look fierce and fabulous at the same time, do give this look a try. It's perfect for a night out, and if you just want to stand out in the crowd. It's young, edgy, and really so much fun. I try to keep the makeup products to a minimal so as to not confuse any beginners who are trying to learn these makeup looks. You can substitute these products with any other brands as long as they serve the same purpose and if you trust them to be as good. Any response from my viewers encourages me to make more videos and provide better content. So please leave comment below for any suggestions and video requests that you guys have do check out my other YouTube videos as well. And please do subscribe to my channel. I make videos on lifestyle, makeup looks, and fashion every week. Please give this video a thumbs up. And till my next video, bye.